glucose responsive insulin basically is like a chemical pancreas. The hope would be that from a patient's perspective, it's very passive and helps them manage their blood sugar throughout the day without too much effort. Welcome to Startup Health TV, where we celebrate the entrepreneurs and innovators who are transforming health. I'm Logan Plaster. We're here on the floor of the American Diabetes Association annual scientific session. And I'm here with health transformer Mike Moratti from Sensalin, CEO and founder. Uh, great to see you. Yeah, likewise. Thank you. Great to be here. So we're going to start by attempting to understand the uh, very interesting work you're doing at Sensalin at a non-clinician level. I know you've been an, an academic, a researcher, and what you're doing is, is complex. Uh, explain to us what Sensalin is. Yeah, thanks. So glucose responsive insulin basically is like a chemical pancreas. Uh, it sits in the subcutaneous tissue and releases more insulin when you need it, less when you don't. Uh, so the, the hope would be that from a patient's perspective, it's very passive. Uh, and helps them manage their blood sugar throughout the day without too much effort. Why hasn't this been developed in the past? This is, it sounds like kind of a holy grail of uh, insulin-dependent patients. Um, why hasn't it happened before? It is incredibly difficult. Uh, many, many large companies have tried a couple of put things into the clinic that just didn't work uh, for a variety of reasons. Some weren't quite sensitive enough. Uh, some had potentially safety issues. And, but having said that, it's a big enough opportunity and a big enough challenge that we expect uh, there, there will be more competition in this space. And we see that as a good thing. I think at the end of the day, you know, patients should have several options for their glucose responsive insulin. And certainly we hope to be first in class, best in class. But uh, at the end of the day, we're all in this together uh, and we're all, we all have ties to patients. So we want there to be the, the best option available uh, uh, for, for patients as, as they need it. My understanding is that you've got a pretty stellar team. You've really kind of formed the group of people that it's going to take to do something this complex. Tell us a little bit about the team. Yeah, very excited to have a, a number of former Amelin scientists and executives working with us. Amelin was the company that uh, commercialized the first GLP-1 drugs 20 years before everybody else. Uh, one of our other co-founders was a principal inventor of what is now Afraza, uh, the uh, only non-injectable insulin approved by the FDA. And the, the team of scientists around us are mostly, you know, diabetes experts uh, in, in San Diego. So we're very, very excited because uh, frankly, you know, n nothing happens without a great team. And we're very proud to have a, a, the perfect team for a company at any stage of its uh, life, but particularly at this stage of, of Sensalin's life. And, and what stage is that exactly? So we are preclinical. Uh, we are trying to finalize the candidate formulation uh, this year. And then uh, it's going to take nine to 12 months to prepare for and run first in human thereafter. Uh, but very excited to be in that last little bit of lead optimization. All right, all right. We're here at the ADA meeting. You are a researcher. You're very familiar with the poster hall that we're right next to here. Um, what are you maybe curious about? What are you interested in seeing? Maybe things you've already seen since you've been here. Like, what's piquing your interest? You know, I, I've been really intrigued by this sort of marriage of, of tech bio where you have uh, traditional pharmaceuticals that are influenced by you know, AI as a drug development tool or you know, the integration of, uh, you know, smart sensors, you know, helping people uh, dose. And I haven't had a chance to walk through the floor yet, but usually I just find the posters that have the big crowd of people around them and just try to go learn that way. And it's always worked well for me in the past. Very nice. What are you most excited about for what Sensalin is going to be doing in the next six to 12 months? Uh, well, we're going to finalize the candidate and we're going to get it into the clinic. Um, and Sorry, when you say finalize the candidate, bring that down to my level for a second. Okay, so basically, uh, in order to, uh, to choose the, the clinical candidate that, uh, uh, you know, we, we have to, uh, well, there's a little bit more in vitro testing, you know, just basically lab work. And then, uh, you know, the FDA requires that you do a, a large animal species, which for us is a mini pig model. And uh, provided that we see the right uh, response, that that would be the, the drug candidate that we put into the clinic. Very nice, very nice. Well, Mike, excited about what you're building. This is a, uh, an audacious goal. You've formed the right team. You've got amazing experience and seem like you're the right folks at the right time to do this. And so uh, I wish you the best and I hope it's a great meeting. Yeah, thank you. And if, if we do this, it's a true moonshot. Uh, it'll totally change everything, which is why I'm so excited. Awesome, Mike. Good to